Polacy w najbardziej demokratycznej formie, w ogólnonarodowym referendum, powiedzieli tak dla przystąpienia Polski do Unii Europejskiej. Możemy dziś pełnym głosem powiedzieć, wracamy. Wracamy do wielkiej europejskiej rodziny. We're definitely the biggest minority in Ireland. You know, there's there's somewhere around 100,000 of us on this island, if not more. You know, we're a very settled part of this community. For that reason alone, we should be visible in media and politics and in every fibre of society. So it is odd that we're not seeing Polish candidates. To have one, maybe, at least for the whole city council, you know, just one would be enough, you know. In 2009, in the first election that uh, they could possibly have run in. There were nine Polish candidates. They were running for political parties. The parties were recruiting them to run because they saw an opportunity. In the next election, we had nine Polish candidates, but all running as independent. And again, nobody was successful. And in the election of 2019, uh, there were only three Polish candidates. In 2014, there was better representation there was like four candidates uh, 2019 my second time when i was a candidate there was on, only me in dublin there's only one candidate from poland so i think uh, lots of people just returned back to poland you know uh, or they just started the families on the outskirts of city center and i was candidate from city center it is odd that we're not seeing polish candidates but you know we are we have the eu passports we have access to a lot of rights and privileges that come with that, so maybe there isn't as strong of a motivating factor to run. One main reason, which we can treat as a positive, is that there are no problems uniting the Polish community in Ireland. Second thing, the Polish are generally not famous for high election participation, and there was a lot of bad feelings about politics in general uh, among the people who had left. Also the divisions, political divisions of Poland. Every time there is a Polish candidate, uh, he or she is asked, are you more on this side of the political spectrum of Poland or that side? And the, the political spectrum is very polarized. And some of these people just don't want to declare themselves on either side. So they don't want to get into this discussion. But See, there's a 20 years now, so there's a second generation, and they are already Irish. They will be interested in politics in Ireland, because they, don't, they are not interested in, po in Polish politics. At the moment, management are just telling us that, no, the rent increase will not stop. Stop protesting. You're not going to achieve anything. Well, I'm going to keep trying, and we'll see what happens. When I ran for the Students' Union in UCD, I, I think I was almost excited to be the first Polish person or the first non-Irish person that I knew of to be in the role. So I do think people kind of in a similar, let's say, age bracket to myself or people who have spent more than half of their lives in Ireland or were even just born here, um, I think we'll start seeing hopefully more of, more of them uh, getting involved in elections and getting involved in society and not feeling, you know, excessive barriers or, or, or disconnections.